Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off with this video with an apology because I had the whole beginning part of this video, the intro and everything already set up. Had a, I thought I had a pretty good first part of the video. And so I transferred it over to my school iPad, which was what I was using to edit these videos. Well, school ended last Monday and sadly, uh, we had a hand in our iPads and me not thinking turned in my iPad without getting that footage back onto my phone, put it on other devices. So there will not be the very first part of this video. So I'm just kind of kind of go through and tell you what I did um, and kind of try to fill you in on the spots where I missed because I uh, apologize for not having that part of the video. But so. What I did was I cleaned the boat again. I, I power washed it again because it's in a barn and the uh, birds are on or whatever, so I got dirty. So I power washed it. Well, we had an issue. The paint was kind of chipping, which it didn't matter because it was the old paint, but I was kind of worried that maybe I didn't sand it in very good spots. So I sanded it again um, one last time, power washed off that. And then I put down this self etching primer, which I don't know if I have it in the, the remaining footage of it have of the video. But I put on some self-fetching primer and I thought it laid down good. It kind of has this like, it's a gray, but it has this like greenish hint to it. Kind of like a army green, but at the slightest matter. And so I did that all around the boat, got it covered pretty well. And then I started uh, taping up the boat um, to the design that I, well, you'll end up seeing later on in this video. Um, so that's what I did in the first part of this video. Sorry, I you guys will completely miss that part of the video out of it, but I promise I won't uh, miss out on any footage for the remainder of these videos, or I'll try not to. Can't say I won't, but. Uh, so at this time, I'm just gonna hit you guys where the video is still available, and then uh, I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. I just got the outline of what I was done. So uh, essentially I have the outline of it done and I'm gonna go on to the other side before I do the fine details. Um, so then I have it even on both sides because it'd be kind of so stupid if I didn't have it even on both sides. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab the tape measure, make sure we're all measured out the same spot and then uh, put the time lapse on the other side. side complete I didn't go as uh, more layers right here or that there because I thought about it and I am just gonna use a piece of cardboard and I'll just guide it as I paint it on this side so then no overspray gets even farther but um, uh, so I got the whole big outline and done I might run out of time tonight to do the actual actual design which hopefully it, the rain doesn't earn this but it might which really sucks because that's a lot of tape but um, I like how that looks so far. And then you guys will see the cool design I'm gonna do. At least I think it's cool. Might be getting over my head, but, um, so that might be all for today, but uh, catch you in the next day. And then uh, with painting the design. And we are back. Um, next day, we're gonna get back to taping and then uh, hopefully we're gonna throw in some black paint today in this video. Um, so, Throw you guys on the time lapse and we'll 
get started on taping. So I got the half of the taping done, uh, if you guys can see. I am painting uh, like the top half of an American flag on the front of my boat. I thought that looked really sick um, to me personally. But um, I've run into a little bit, of not really an issue, but a stopping point because um, I want the stars to be perfect, as perfect as they can be. and. Uh, well, I don't have a star stencil. I don't really want to hand tape stars because I don't think um, they're going to look very good. But um, I might just go ahead and uh, tape up both sides with the stripes and then paint the stripes and then come back and do the stars later on. Well, once I get the, like a stencil or something tomorrow maybe. But I think I'm going to tape off a uh, the, this like sheet of paper over top of the other part of the boat so then there's uh, no overspray and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that part, and then tape up the other part with the, st uh, the stripes. I probably won't do a time lapse with that though, because you guys don't really care to sit here and just watch me tape it up a bunch. So I'll go ahead and uh, tape up the other side and put some paper over it. So I got this side completely done, as I said. I went over here to this side, and I ran out of tape. Of course, I ran out of tape. So I'm gonna need to get more. I definitely neglected. Uh, the tape and was overusing it in some sports spots but uh you know i have to get some more tape and i'm going to have to make this stencil for the star anyway so um i don't really want to leave this out here overnight though because i came back today and the tape was kind of starting to peel off because of the heat and stuff so i really want to get at least it done tonight or at least the at least the, the stripes done you must think first right before you move. Firstly, I think that looks pretty sharp. Now when I get the, the stars, it'll look a lot better, but I think it looks looking pretty sharp as of right now. Me personally. Me personally. Now I just gotta now I just gotta paint the uh, the stars black. So I gotta get that done. Sometime. But I think that looks pretty darn sick in person it does at least. But I don't know how that's gonna look on the camera, but I think it looks pretty good. So, we'll uh, come out here tomorrow and get the uh, more tape, get the other side all taped up, and I'll have a stencil tomorrow, hopefully, for a star. And hopefully it's a pretty decent uh, proportion star to the whole thing. All right, we're back. Another day, another day at work. So I did this off camera, sadly, so you guys didn't get to see it. But I found some stickers, some star stickers that are like foam stickers, so I could stick them down and paint everything behind it and then peel the stickers off and it'll look good. So that's what I did. Sadly, I didn't get very many stickers, so I kinda have to do some transitioning process, but what you're seeing here, this tape right here, that's still right here, that's gonna be where the licensing numbers go. So um, those have to be in the front of the boat, so that's where that's gonna go. So I have that taped off, which kinda saves me a lot of trouble with these stars to figure out.
last one was probably the worst one, sadly. But, hey, I think it looks pretty good. In my opinion, I think it looks pretty good for rattle can and me just being creative here. And I will say the paint uh, is a little bit chipped right there. This is pretty irritating because I shouldn't be doing that. And just the tape. So um, I'm going to have to just, I think it probably just didn't come out of the can very good because I had that issue. But uh, I'll probably just take um, the spray paint, spray it in a little container, and then tape a little, take a little thing and just dab some paint on it to cover that up. And then it'll look all right. It'll look all right. So, um, yep. So, this is it. And then I'll, uh, let the, once it dries a little bit more, I'm going to peel off this thing of tape and stick on the stickers for it. All right. We're back. Another day. Another, another day working on the whole paint job. It's, it's been a long process, but we're going to get her done. So, uh, I got the stickers that are finally going to work. They're not, they're actually going to stick. And the last ones I got for it peeled right off when I tried to stick them. So, I got stickers for the, uh, the uh, number that you have to have for the boat to be legal or whatever. And then I got more of these stars to stick on there. So now I have to reuse the other ones to do the other side. So today I am going to fully get the paint job done. Officially one side complete. And I think it looks pretty clean. So, all right, I'm gonna get to work on the other side, tape everything up and then we'll get started on painting their side. <laughs> 